In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to turn some measly newspaper and cardboard into a working canvas. Here we go. Yeah. Hello, my queen bees. It is your girl, Amanda, the bust artist. Welcome back to my channel, a place where you can just let loose and have fun with your acrylic paint. You might remember a couple videos ago where I showed you how to make a canvas out of a shoebox using newspaper with a little bit of gesso and glue. I just want to explore that a little more because it's so much fun making your own stuff. So if you're tight in a budget or you're just lazy like me and don't want to go to the store, I'm going to show you how to turn any cardboard that you have lying around your house into a canvas just like this, ready for some painting. So grab all your supplies and let's get to it. Okay, so to get started, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip the box over to where I don't want to see the working surface. So this part here, it got a little ripped up, so I'm gonna use this as the backside of our makeshift canvas. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my ruler, take my pen, and I'm gonna measure out half an inch on both sides of the cardboard. And I'm gonna repeat it on the other end as well. Then all I'm gonna do is connect the two dots that I made previously. And then repeat on the other side. Next, I'm gonna measure out a half inch and a half inch on the other so that I can make lines going across this way. got my lines and these are going to be the sides of my canvas. Now I'm going to take my scissors, cut along this, only this line of my box. I can make a cut there and I make a cut there. So you see I got my cuts. Then I'm going to do another cut right here and then another cut right here. Okay. So now I'm able to actually start bending this. Probably need a little bit of help with my ruler to help bend this. So I'm just gonna lay it along the line here because it is cardboard after all um, and try to bend it to the best of my abilities. When it comes to cardboard, it, it does give you a little bit of a fight depending on the thickness, but I like that. I'm gonna do it the other side right here. We're gonna go back to this portion for a second, and we're just gonna make a cut going from this point on the line to this point on the line, okay? Just like so. I'm gonna repeat the same on that side, same on this side, and then same on this side, okay? So now, so now you got these kind of corner things. So I'm just gonna fold my box, my ruler, make sure I got a nice clean edge, and then we're gonna fold. Right, and you'll start to see that I can fold, I can fold along this line right here for that triangle that we made earlier. And then I can just fold my box over just like so, just like that. So yeah, you can already start to see we're making the beginnings of a canvas. Isn't that cool? And now next what I'm gonna do, go ahead and hot glue these two items together. I'm gonna go ahead and just reinforce some of the edges here. Now you have the beginnings of a canvas. Pairing the paper is a better way to uh, strengthen the fibers together instead of a straight cut with scissors. So we're going to try that. So 
up comes the tacky glue. So I'm just gonna do a good squirtful in the cup here. And go ahead and add some water. This is my second set of newspaper layers that I'm putting down. The more the merrier, because you really want this to be a sturdy surface when you're ready to paint. So now I'm gonna start to overlay the newspaper over the edges here so that I can clean those up and also start reinforcing the sides. So what I like to do with that is I'll just take my newspaper and just Laps it over the side, just like that. And I always make sure that there's enough room for it to overlap on both edges. So now, that way, it'll pretty much never come off. And then I rinse and repeat. So now I'm just gonna wait for this part to dry and then we're gonna go back in and do more layers. So next I'm gonna go ahead and use some gesso and make a fine layer on the top of our little canvas. Check on our canvas. Ooh, you're still wet. Probably because it's so wet outside. Yeah, maybe we'll take you inside so you can dry. Okay, so we finally have a fully dried looking canvas. That only took about 36 hours. So guys, check this out. This is hard. It is ready for painting. Look at that. You can see the sides. This is this is perfect. Don't want to show the newspaper in the front. All you got to do is just go over it now with gesso and just apply maybe maybe like 3 or 4 layers on top of this. And not only is it going to add the white, but it's going to reinforce the layer so you're really going to get a very rigid surface that's perfect for painting. This is awesome. I never did this one before, so this is a really cool find and I think I'm going to be using this again in the future for more paintings. So if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please be sure to give it a like and to subscribe to my channel, hit that like button. You know what to do so that you can see more fun art tutorials, DIYs, upcycled art, and so many fun other things from me to you in the future. And remember, love yourself and always have fun with your acrylic paint. See you all next week. Bye! Okay, do you want to see the really cool part about doing it this way too? You can hang it up on your wall. Check it out. Ta-da! Like this? Or like this, you can go whatever direction you want. Oh, I just love the possibilities. <laughs>